Hello folks, uh, VA3XV here and uh, I want to show you my system here focusing on uh, ladder line actually because uh, I run four antennas using 450 ohm ladder line that run right directly into the shack here so um, first of all all my four antennas come in and they're uh, to these uh, switching system here uh, these switches and from there whatever one I have selected goes to a ballon which I have mounted on the wall right here with a very short uh, connection uh, to the back of the tuner and I'll show you that uh, right now as you can see I have a 90 degree adapter right out of the back of the tuner I have uh, two male UHF connectors with a barrel connector in between and this, connect, this connects the ballon. I could have went just with the 90 degree and uh, connected the ballon but I needed the extra height to clear the tuner. So the idea here is to keep it as short as possible. Uh, it is more efficient in my opinion. Now I want to show you how efficient uh, this can be. I'm not going to use the MFJ998 tuner. I'm just going to bypass it. Uh, and I'm going to use my Kenwood 890 and, it, and its tuner. So it would be just like if I had that ballon connected to the back of the rig here. If I didn't have uh, uh, an outboard tuner. And I'll show you how efficient it can be here. Um, the antenna I'm currently on. Is 134 foot doublet up at uh, 70 feet, so it's uh, you know it's it's resonant down in the bottom portion of the 80 meter band. So I have my tuner on here, and I'll show you uh, how the internal tuner will uh, tune this. There perfect match right there no problem we'll go down uh, closer to the bottom of the band here say right there and we'll do, try the tuner boom one to one match so we will uh, we'll try 40 meters now and here uh, see if it'll tune here this is at the lower portion And we have tuned there. So we'll tune down there. Let's try a higher frequency. Okay, I don't hear uh, I don't hear anybody on there, so well it won't tune there, it's a little bit out of band. So it'll it'll tune on the lower part of um, forty meters. Okay, so let's uh, let's try 20 meters. I don't hear anything up there, so we'll try it. Boom, tuned one to one. Let's try something. Uh, sorry, let's try something higher. Okay, it's pretty quiet there now pretty quiet there now so let's try this one to one okay let's try uh, 17 meters okay somebody there yeah, let's try right there I don't hear anybody so one to one let's try uh, 15 meters see what it goes oh, one to one let's try 12 meters one to one let's try 10 meters one to one let's try six meters 
one to one. So there you go. Uh, the only place it wouldn't tune on this test is the higher portion of 40 meters. So that's uh, that's how efficient that could be. You could you could just uh, you know put a um, a dipole or a doublet up uh, as long as you cut it uh, somewhere within the resonant frequency uh, say like 80 meters like I have you could have it maybe a little bit shorter even for higher in the band but I cut it 100, 134 feet so it's somewhere down the, you know I got all the voice uh, portion covered and the uh, the, the length of this uh, feed here on this antenna is uh, 250 feet uh, roughly so there you go you don't even need a big tuner you can get by as long as you have a uh, you know a, a newer a, a later model model rig uh, you know they're probably just as efficient as this Kenwood here uh, like what I hear all the time is uh, a lot of people don't uh, like running the uh, ladder line inside the uh, house because or into the shack because it's a pain and you're you know it's not supposed to be together or anything well here is my uh, here's my feed point where it goes into the house I got uh, four ladder lines 400 four, 450 home lines running out and three RG8 uh, X uh, coaxes right out the same hole and uh, you know I, I run up to 500 watts here and uh, I've had no issues at all uh, where, where they come in they all run together uh, you know they're loose but they're they're all together uh, for about a 10 foot uh, span I find that uh, you know if you're on one and once it's tuned uh, and you have a resident in your tuner I have I've never had an issue with it if you don't like, uh, you know, running ladder line uh, in your house or into the shack, there, there is another option here. Uh, so at the bottom, is a, it's a, they have a chunk of 213 coax, and then in the middle is a 450 ohm like I run. But if you look at this, this is 400, or sorry, 300 uh, ohm ladder line with 16 gauge and this stuff is no uh, no wider in diameter might even be narrower actually than the uh, two, uh, 213 so you, you could run this stuff through you could put uh, you know three or four uh, runs of this a three anyway through the same hole uh, than, than, you, than you would uh, you know the 213 and uh, like I said, it, it's uh, it's not susceptible to uh, metal as much as people think it is. I wouldn't run it along, uh, you know, 20 feet of metal or anything. But if it all comes together through the uh, same hole entrance place uh, into the shack, there's no issue there at all. And, uh, you know, I, running it along the floor together for about 10 feet is no issue. And if you go to uh, DX Engineering... And if you look at the specs of this uh, 16 gauge 300 ohm ladder line, it's basically uh, the same loss per foot as LMR 400. So it's very efficient. 